Following the success of the critically acclaimed The Arbitration, director Ni Yaki Molayo is back on set for Room 315. Entertainment News got behind the scenes and now we show you what we saw. Do enjoy. Finally, rising director Niyi Akimolayo is shooting the project Room 315. The project is a give-back initiative of the director, which followed a brief low period after his critically acclaimed latest movie, The Arbitration. I started a blog uh, sometime in June, a filmmaking blog, out of a very simple desire to give back information to the internet and help a lot of young filmmakers that definitely can't afford film school, have access to some basic things. And I also thought that it was time that we started telling people how we do some of the things we do, you know, in Nollywood. If we have to go forward, then we have to learn to share. And uh, so I started out as, you know, just giving out basic, you know, the typical blog format, you know, write a post and put it there and expect people to read. And um, it was getting a lot of following, but I realized that I might not be able to keep up that momentum. I'm a very busy person, you know, to sit down and, you know, be writing, be writing like twice or three times in a week might be daunting. And I felt that after a while, it might lose steam. So I thought, um, let's get more creative. Why don't we make this blog about everybody? Why don't we engage everyone? You know, why don't we get everyone to be involved in the blog? It doesn't have to be me, you know. And then um, I've always believed that the best way to be a filmmaker is to make films. There's no other way to do that. So I thought of an idea, which was basically just an idea for engagement. I said, hey, guys, what if I give 100000 to someone who can write me a 10-page script based on my rules? And I gave the rules. It has to be five main characters, there has to be one location connected by, if it's more than one connected by a door, there has to be someone who doesn't talk, there has to be a character, you know, that is, has some form of um, disability and all that, so I threw it out, and um, of course, because it, it had money involved, everyone jumped on it, including people that knew nothing about writing. He eventually received over a hundred entries, which was later narrowed down to Abosi Ogba's Room 315. The script initially drew in a minor controversy as a Lagos-based radio personality claims the title and the mental health theme plagiarized her issues-based vlog, Room 313. Akim Olayon thought different and went ahead with shooting the project, getting volunteers from Nollywood including actors, technical input and even food and refreshments. Okay. Have some attitude. I can't not say no attitude. Have some attitude you know, to the expression. And let your bit of discussion come up. So he brings up the calm down. You are getting too excited. It's been amazing, really amazing. The the amount of influx of love and support. And um, I'm going to sit down and actually do a breakdown of how much this will be worth. But in my head, I'm past $2 million already on how much I would have had to pay for this value. Now imagine if we take this idea and we scale it up you know, for Nollywood, you know, for different industries in Nigeria and say, hey, sometimes we can collaborate on some unique things if it's going to empower people, if it's going to make people's lives better. The, the shocking thing is that the fact that they were doing it for free did not mean that I had to beg them or I had to, you know, lobby and I had to be at their mercy. No, they were the ones, you know, ensuring that I was up on my toes and making this work. Room 315 hosts a live audience of budding filmmaker classroom style. They watch as Akimolayo carefully preps his actors before shooting. 
So when you take that, we're well, a bit too excited to help this transition work well. Go back into trying to get into today's notes. That is when we do not notice the cigarette picking up and all that. So you pick the cigarette, where's your bag? Pick the cigarette from the bag and then you go. Um, this is a, so you notice, that's what takes that line. This is a health facility. It will help you get calm. You interject it, okay? Remember, you're sitting with the cigarette in your pocket. Where's the cigarette? You don't, you know, you don't listen to it, you're not paying attention. You're still trying to, and then frustratingly, it's not working, okay? And then you put it in me, and then we get into the discussion. So it's not as if he shuts her down, but she figures out that, you know, he's not buying that. Do you understand? So pick it from the top, Nina. I have learned a lot because you can see how the whole set, from the beginning, we could see how the whole set was being made and how everything was being set up with the whole crew members and the dialogue between the actors and everything has been really, 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 how would I say it, interesting and educative at the same time. You know how you watch a movie and then you see everything and you think you know all, then you come to the set and then you discover that there's a lot that goes into making a movie that you have had no idea about. There are a lot of things that go on into making a movie. So I've learned a lot today. So when I eventually go into the industry to start making my own movies, I know how things work and now I can do better with mine. Rolling, come hey. Scene number quiet please outside. Quiet. Scene number four, white shot. On track, take one. Thank you. In three, two, one, and action. I just go back again, go back again. Still rolling. Let's go back again. Ready? Yeah. Still rolling. And go for it. It's not just a master class for, um, for actors, it, it also, uh, it's a complete production collaborative that, and how this synergy works, that's, that's uh, the vision, that, that's the obvious vision of Ni Yake um, I And I think that um, the people who will get a chance to watch this will see, we'll get a chance to see the progression of um, sequences, how moments transit into moments, um, how moods change relative to moment, and it's not just one flat, it's, it's full of cadences and, you know, um, different rhythms. Uh, and how the actor feels uh, all of that without, without jarring, without, uh, without, without any obvious struggle in front of a camera. It's one of those things, some of the, those are some of the things that I feel that um, people will be able to take away from, from all of this.